first off, because someone's gonna say something about my hair, shout out to Joy Drybar. Um, she did this little braid for me and I just think it looks super cute. She's the best, but she's about to go on maternity leave. So kind of sucks for me and sucks for you guys if you're in my region and you wanted to go to her, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. I'm really happy for her. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. If you're new here, if you're not, hi. Welcome to another fun filled video. So today we're going to be talking all about Josh Rosebrook skincare specifically because he does have hair care and I believe he has like some fragrance as well. I only have the skincare and I've only, ah, uh, that's a lie. I have tried the hair care, but I tried it like four years ago. I think it's been like repackaged, reformulated, so I can't speak on current formulation. But the skincare, there's only three products I haven't tried. Uh, I did write out a whole list just so I'd remember kind of what I wanted to say. I haven't tried the Hydration Boost Concentrate, the Complete Moisture Cleanse, or the Herbal Infusion Oil. So I've tried everything else and I'm going to do what I often do with these kind of skincare reviews and give like my best, worst, and in-between because I think, especially a brand like this, there are quite a few products to do a review like this. There are best, worst, and in-between products and some of them might shock you for my worst. So stay tuned for that. We'll start out with best. Uh, yeah, let's just roll in. Oh, and then disclaimer, this isn't sponsored or anything. Some of these products I got like in subscription boxes, some I paid for, and then some he actually sent me. He sent me the new formulations of the Nutrient Day Cream and also the new uh, Essential Balm Cleanser. I have like a little sample size. And I think he also sent me like a new Daily Acetoner, but this is one that I got in a box. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there just so everyone knows like I paid for some of this. I got some in subscription boxes, got some from the brand itself. So yeah. Okay, so the first product I wanna talk about is the Nutrient Day Cream Tinted. So the new formulation of this is different than the old one, and the old one comes in a packaging like this. And the new formulation and packaging, I actually like the most in the tinted formulation. So it's not comparable to my face, but I'm wearing makeup so I can show you here. So this is tinted, but as I rub it in and blend it out, I'm not doing any like transitions or anything just so you guys can see. It's not like crazy tinted, it's more glowy, and I can get away with wearing this on my face kind of situation. Like it has a little something to it, but um, I can, like as pale as I am, I can get away with wearing it. And I was reading on the website that this is the one that they recommend for people who have darker skin tones because it blends in better because I'll talk about this one in a second, but their new Nutrient Day Cream does leave a bit of a white cast for people who have deeper skin tones. Some people on my Instagram told me that, um, and I just wanna make you guys aware, just I don't know what your skin tone is, but if you are a deeper skin tone and you really like this formulation, um, this, like, truly, just look at my hand. Like, you can see it a little bit, but it's not crazy. It's just, like, more of a bronzy glow kind of situation. Like, it's not like a foundation product. But I've liked this one. I've liked the new formulation of this. I like the new packaging and everything. And they are working with this one that's untinted to make it not have that white cast. I know that zinc's really hard to work with, so... Yeah, that's just what I have to say about that. But I will say, if you can find the old packaging and formulation, my favorite from that isn't the tinted one. I actually prefer the just regular untinted one. And I've seen these floating around out there. So the tinted one's nice in the old formulation, but I would like flip flop because this one, which is the untinted, I know this is confusing, but this is the untinted one from the new packaging and formulation. It's actually like a mid for me. Um, like an in-between, but the untinted one in this packaging and formulation is my favorite. So yeah, favorites, just to absolutely clarify, from the old packaging, the untinted, from the new packaging, the tinted. And I did write this down, for the Nutrient Day Cream Tinted, it's between $60 and $155. I believe this is like a mid-price one, it's like in the 80 
dollar category for one fluid ounce. One thing I appreciate about Josh Rosebrook and the brand is you can purchase various sizes depending on your budget because this is a more luxury price point. Like when you hear 155, you're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, that is expensive. But if you know you really like the product, I do think it can be worth it for someone. But if someone is on a budget and they're like, I cannot spend that much in one go, there are other options. I still get that $60 isn't cheap by any means, but I do appreciate that there is some variance because I haven't seen a lot of brands do that. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. And then the next, oh, I was surprised with this. This has been in my like, August favorites or one of my favorites, maybe it was July. I have really liked the Daily Acid Toner and I was skeptical of this because when I saw it had Daily Acid Toner, I was like, uh, I don't wanna mix that in with my skincare. And I like store this for like nine months and I didn't use it. I finally was like, okay, I'm not using anything crazy. I don't really like to mix my acids, retinols and stuff like some people are good with that. I'm not. I prefer to use one active at a time. So I decided to use this and my skin looked and looks when I use this amazing. I use it morning and night. It's actually pretty gentle considering it has a lot of acids in it and I looked because I wanted to be able to tell you guys this has peruvic malic citric and glycolic acids and it performs at varying depths and speed allowing the unique acid profile to work successfully for a wide range of skin types and conditions. I do really agree with that because my skin can be reactive. It can. Um, with this though, my skin looks amazing and I was really impressed because it's actually gentle and it kind of smells like honey. Like it has like a sweet syrupy scent to it and I've just really liked it. This one's $35. They only have this size in it. I think that's a fair price. Truly, I do, and it's just a good product. Yeah, recommend that. And then these two I bought for myself. So this is their Vital Balm Cream, and this is actually my second time purchasing this. We got a like deluxe sample size in a Beauty Heroes event that I went to. Oh, I love the smell. And I tried this and I was like, oh man, I need to get a bigger one. And I finally did. And this is the 0.75 fluid ounces one. I wrote down, I think they have two different sizes. They have this size and a bigger one. So this one was $50 and the big one is 90. So again, you do have that variance in price. If you don't wanna pay like, you know, 90 bucks for one, I bought the $50 one. But this has aloe vera in it, which is anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. It has plant oils, and I'm just truly reading off of this because I couldn't remember all the exact ingredients. It has polysaccharides, hyaluronic acid in it, and the scent profile, this does have some essential oils. It has blue tansy, ylang lang, lavender, and vanilla extract, and I can really smell that blue tansy. And my skin loves this. And I was kind of surprised it loved this because there's one that I'm gonna talk about in the worst that has a similar ingredient deck, but its base isn't water-based. It's not like, it's more like occlusive and oily. So I don't like it as much. My skin didn't like it as much, but this one, oh, this one, let me smell it again. It's like a dream. Like when I use this, my skin looks amazing, so. I like that one. And then the next one, this is one I purchased for myself around the holidays. This is the Cacao Antioxidant Mask. So this is the 1.5 fluid ounces. There are two sizes of this. One is $40, one seventy. So I think, I'm not sure if I got like the small one or the big one of this. So this mask is very dark brown and it smells like those Christmas time orange chocolate things that come in the foil. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, those things are good, but that's what this smells like. My skin really likes this. I got a sample, like a deluxe sample of this and then I repurchased it because I liked it so much. I love the scent. One thing about it, it has clays in it, so it does dry out a little bit. So I do have to add a little bit of water to it to like get it moving and around my face uh, from the container itself. So that is one thing, it doesn't bother me at all, but just wanted to point that out. And some of the ingredients of this, it does have antioxidants in it. It has phytonutrient plant synergies, cacao, which that's antioxidants and it helps the cacao. Um, with collagen production. It stimulates and triggers circulation and it supports the skin's natural healing ability. So yeah, I definitely have liked this. I think one of the biggest things about all of my favorites is I like like the experience of using them all and the scents and just how they 
go on my face and work with my skin and I am non-reactive to them all. So yeah, these are like my ride or die favorites from the line that I would highly recommend checking out. And let's get into my in-between. This might be kind of interesting as we go on. So one of my in-between things is actually this new essential balm cleanse. At first I didn't like it and I actually thought it was going to be a worse, but then I kind of got to using it a bit more and I was like, okay, that's all right. So it's like a liquid oily balm cleanser, just like it says. The smell's amazing. I even wrote down what the smell was. I think it's the cardamom. It smells really nice. It's a really warm scent. And this has blue green algae uh, and then a herbal, an herbal extract that's made in house that's supposed to help soothe the skin and help with the delicate acyl man acid mantle barrier, excuse me. And this has no essential oils in it. The cost of this is $50 for the full size. I just got this mini because they sent it to me. So the reason I don't have this in the best is I have to use a cleanser after it. So it does wash away and it's kind of white and milky, but I still kind of feel something on my skin, like a little bit of a residue that's waxy. So I would prefer just it totally rinsed away. And I can see where maybe it's like those hydrating plant oils, but just honestly, I do a pretty inclusive skincare routine, meaning like, I don't just like wash my face and that's it. Like, that's like the absolute bare minimum when it's the holidays and I'm working really hard. That's like the time that I will maybe just wash my face and go to bed. But usually I do a toner and a serum and stuff. So I don't need a residue from my cleanser to protect my face. And that's just me. Some people might feel different, but I actually end up doing a double cleanse with that. And that just to me, this is the kind of product that you shouldn't have to do a double cleanse with. You know what I'm saying kind of thing? Okay. And then the next, I just put the nutrient day cream because it does have that white cast now where this original one, like I still like this and I'm so pale. I can get away with it. Truly. Like I can, but I really, uh, liked this old formulation. It was so good. So I know they're redoing this. It's not awful by any means. It's a little bit more liquidy than the old one. So that's one thing. And you know, you just get that white cast a little bit more. So that's why I put it in the in-between. If they reformulate and I like it more, it'll go up. So yeah. And this is actually a little bit cheaper. It's like $5 cheaper per size than the tinted one. So it's between 55 and 140. So I just wanted to make this clear though. They do use high quality uncoated non-nano high micro zinc oxide to provide efficient, effective sunblocks against skin's damaging slur rays. And I believe this is SPF 30. Yes, it is. So both of them are SPF 30 um, and it's anti-inflammatory. A lot of good things going for it. Okay, and then there's this. So this is the active infusion oil and this I actually heard, remember on Clubhouse like, Sorry if my lighting's going in and out. Like, I'm not sure what it's doing, but I'm trying my best here, guys. Just the time of day I can film has, like, switched because of the sun, like, not staying up as long. You know, like, now the sun goes on at, like, 7 instead of 9, so, yeah. But, one sec, I got hair in my lip. This guy's another in-between for me. It's the Active Infusion Oil, and I watched this whole Clubhouse about it. If anyone remembers when Clubhouse first came out, everyone was on it. Well, Josh Rosebrook did, like, a talk about this, I think. I think it was this one. Maybe, no, it was Aaliyah. Aaliyah did something with Josh Rosebrook where he talked about this. And what's cool about this is it's a gentle retinoid, and it's a true retinoid. It's not Bacatrol or whatever that, like, clean wannabe retinoid is. This is a true one, but it's coated in oil that makes the delivery method more gentle, as I understood correctly in that talk. And then it also has vitamin C. So my thing about this, I actually didn't know as much, no, know as much, realize, I, I keep, like, knocking things and stuff. I'm a mess today. But I saw a lot more turnover with the daily acid toner where I was shocked by it. This I expected more from. And I just personally prefer like a more aloe based retinol, retinoid type product. And that could just be what I'm used to for my different days when I was like in college and like end of high school. So yeah, it's not awful. Someone might like it, but if you're gonna go with one of the more active products, I'd actually recommend the daily acid toner more. So yeah. Okay. 
And then my worst, I don't have them here, so I'll just put a picture up. This is the Hydrating Accelerator, and some of you guys might be a little offended by this. Sorry, not sorry situation. I don't like the smell of it, and it's a little bit too active for me. It has a lot of essential oils in it. One of the things that I, one of the things, excuse me again, that I do like about it, they also have varying price points from $35 to $75, and they do have a pump-free option in the biggest size, so you can replace your pump and put it from one to the other, and you get like $5 off if you do that of the new bottle. So I like the sustainability aspect. Um, I just don't like the product, though. I don't like the scent of it. I think it's too active, and yeah, just for me, like it might be the essential oils in that, um, just because it is like a liquid delivery that they might just penetrate deeper for me and just not work as well. So yeah, take that with a grain of salt. I don't like it. I know tons of people do. If you're one of them, that's fine. I feel like I get it in every single like GWP or like special thing that Josh Rosebrook does with the retailers. So I always have those mini bottles and I always put them in giveaways because I know people like it. I'm just not one of those people. All right, and then the advanced hydration mask. So this one is between 40 and $70. It's really occlusive. So this is the one I was discussing when I was talking about the Vital Balm Cream where they actually have a lot of crossover ingredients, but the difference is its base is very thick, rich butters, including shea, mango, and then it also does have the polysaccharides in it and hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to really hold in water because it is so occlusive. My skin didn't like it though, which I was kind of surprised because I thought it'd be comparable to the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon but my skin can't breathe as much with it. And I have like one occlusive product I'll use in the winter time when my skin gets real dry. This one, my skin just didn't react that great to. And I prefer the cream more, so I'd rather just spend the money on that one. But if you really like those occlusive products, I could see you liking it, but just for me, not a fave. And then last but not least, I, I've tried this, but I've only tried like, I think, I think we actually got two of the worst products in one of the first detox boxes that ever came out. And I think it was the hydration mask and the exfoliator, the active enzyme exfoliator, retail price 40 to $70, depending on the side size, excuse me. And what I don't like about this is it's a manual exfoliant as well. So it uses round walnut shells. And this can be tricky because I'm just nervous with that much like of a natural exfoliant. I'm all for, I'm for natural exfoliants, but when it's crushed walnut shells that are rounded, it just kind of makes me worry that it's like going to break the skin. So this one for me was just a little bit too active and too exfoliating. Um, yeah, it has honey in it, fruit, herbal enzymes. Um, so that combination is supposed to be more of like a chemical exfoliant, but then the it also has the manual aspect. And I just don't like both. I prefer one or the other personally. I'm not saying I've never used one that has both that I don't like. I'm just saying for this product, I kind of wish they were like two separate products or like the walnut shells were taken out and you could add them and the honey thing was like a mask. I don't know. It's just not a favorite for me. It's supposed to help stimulate collagen production. Uh, it's just not a fave. I mean, I just think it has some things working against it, so I wouldn't recommend it or repurchase it, so yeah. Alrighty, y'all, so let me know your thoughts if you've tried Josh's products down below. If you didn't know, like, I didn't really do much of an intro on Josh, but he is a real sweetheart. I've met him a couple times at just various events. He didn't know who I was or anything, but he was really nice to me. He's been really nice to me over social media. He's an esthetician and a cosmetologist, I believe, or he's a cosmetologist, and he's based in, I think, Portland. I know that's where he was born, but he's just a cool guy. I think he makes some great, like, unisex products and yeah they are, he's an OG in this space and I want to talk about all these because I've tried quite a few at this point so yeah anyway all thank you so much for stopping by the channel give the I'm, I'm like confused on how to do this outro I don't know why I <laughs> give this a thumbs up before you go and yeah have a wonderful wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world